Today we have an exciting tutorial for you. We will be showing you how to install the ESP8266 board in the Arduino IDE. This is an essential step if you want to start programming and working with the ESP8266 microcontroller. So let's get started. First let's make sure we have the Arduino IDE installed on our computer. If the Arduino IDE is not installed, head over to the official Arduino website and download the latest version for your operating system. Once downloaded, go ahead and install it. I have already made video on how to install Arduino IDE. The link is given below. Now that we have the Arduino IDE installed, let's open it up. Once the IDE is open, we need to go to File and then Preferences. In the Preferences window, you will find a text field labeled Additional Board Manager. Click on the right arrow button on the far right of the text field. This section will open up a new window. Here we need to add the URL for the ESP8266 board. The URL you need to enter is Once you have entered the URL, click OK. Now that we have added the board manager URL, we need to install the ESP8266 board. To do that, go to tools, then board and finally board managers. the board manager window type esp8266 into the search bar you should see the esp8266 by esp8266 community board package click on install to start the installation process the installation process might take a few moments depending on your internet connection Once the installation is complete, close the board manager window. Now that we have installed the ESP8266 board, let's test it out. Open the blink LED example. Then go to tools, board and scroll down to find the node MCU 1.0. Select the board. Next we need to choose the correct port for our ASP8266 board. Go to tools and then port and upload the code. That's it. We have successfully installed the ESP8266 board in the Arduino IDE. Now you are ready to start programming and experimenting with the ESP8266 microcontroller. Have fun exploring its capability. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects. As always, feel free to any questions or comments down below.